Hello, my name is Jerry Ballman, and I'm a member of Cessna Customer Service Engineering Team Structures. If your aircraft is involved in an incident where a DI's boot and underlying structure are damaged, there are multiple options to consider depending on the extent of the damage, where the damage is located on the wing, vertical, or horizontal, and if the aircraft owner would like to relocate the aircraft to a Cessna Service Center or authorized service facility for repairs. Cessna offers on-site support with a Cessna Mobile Service Unit or on-site Cessna Technicians. However, if the aircraft owner would like to relocate the aircraft to an approved repair facility, a special limitations flight or ferry flight could be performed with the de-ice boots removed or preferably with just a section of the boot removed. If the de-ice boot has a stall strip, this strip must be rebonded to the leading edge at the same original location following de-ice boot or section removal. A bird strike or other impact damage will often damage the leading edge structure underneath the de-ice boot. These instances sometimes make it necessary to cut a section of the de-ice boot off so a mechanic can inspect the aircraft and verify there isn't crack damage, filled fasteners, or an undetected fuel leak. Sometimes an inspection can be performed from inside the airfoil without necessitating de-ice boot removal. An evaluation should be performed to determine if it is best to leave the leading edge structure damaged as is for the ferry flight, or if temporary repairs, like this photo demonstrates, are required first. If the decision is made to remove the de-ice boot or a section of the boot for a ferry flight, the following procedures should be followed. Carefully remove the de-ice boot in accordance with the applicable maintenance manual chapter 30 section. Extreme care must be used to prevent additional damage to the underlying leading edge structure while any de-ice boot or section is being removed. Clean the area around the air supply line hole. Cap and stow the air supply line plumbing inside the airfoil. Apply aluminum speed tape over the air supply line hole and or the de-ice boot edges if only a section was removed. Use 3M425 aluminum tape, Cessna part number Alpha 840014 or an equivalent. Apply the tape with a plastic scraper or credit card to ensure tape adhesion. If applicable, rebond the stall strip using EC1300L adhesive, Cessna part number, uniform 000978. Disable the electrical controls for the DI system. Finally, placard the instrument panel indicating the DI system is an op. Although Cessna structures cannot provide the actual ferry flight permit for the customer, we can provide a special flight recommendations memo on Cessna letterhead upon request like this example. The memo will give a brief description of the issue, give any temporary repair instructions, and provide any recommended ferry flight restrictions and limitations. Although not necessarily required, this memo will often help the customer obtain the actual ferry flight permit from the local FISDO. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact Team Structures at 316-517-6061 or email to csstructures at cessna.com. Thank you.